Okay, it's time for another unboxing, or maybe that should be unbagging, in Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. The best workshop in the history of workshops. So anyway, got two packages here. Well, this one came a few days ago, this one just came today. So let's see what's inside. Let's see what's inside the Element 14 bag first. I think most people know what kind of stuff is going to be in here. Just cut into one of the electrostatic bags there. Didn't damage anything there, and that's the important thing. Okay, anything more in there? Just an invoice. I don't know that. And this is all being filmed in natural light, because for once it's actually daytime when I'm doing my videos. Thing is, I don't like having lights on when the sun's out, and usually it's not bright enough to light up the place, but today it is, so I'm using natural light. So, what have we got in here? I don't know, actually I've forgotten what I ordered. Some NPN transistors, I know that, but we're going to have to open this bag. So this is going to be like a surprise for me, because I've absolutely forgotten what I've ordered here. Okay, I'll just get that out of the way. Ah yes, got some BC-109s. I've got a plan of something no one going to do with those. Of course, now because I'm using sunlight to record, it's gotten dimmer. You know, like the sun often does, it gets brighter and dimmer for absolutely no reason. Got some 1N4148 diodes. So I need quite a few of those for my solid state test the coil projects that I'm going to be doing in a few videos from now. Triple five timers, I can never have enough of those. What's this? N channel MOSFET, yeah, but I've forgotten what I ordered. Oh yeah, IRF 740. There they are in there. Um, what's this? Oh yeah, a couple of UCC3732 gate drivers. Another couple of gate drivers. These ones are... What are they now? Oh yeah, 37322. Some more MOSFETs. These ones are RF630N. And finally, another thing I've forgotten what I've ordered. What is this? Oh, yes. Logic Gates 74HG14. You can really see it because it's gone a bit too dark. Looks like I'm going to have to turn the light on after all, which is probably going to make everything too bright. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Okay, we'll just have to do this with the lights off then. So, that's all that stuff. So, what's in here then? What's in this big bag? It's got a fair bit of weight to it. So, it must be something good. So, let's see what we got. This is just going to be uploaded straight to YouTube with no editing or anything, so the start of the video looks a bit weird to you, that's why. We have a professional dynamic microphone, which is going to be really good for my reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders and stuff like that, because 
for some reason they do not like recording off oh what's it called electric condenser microphones mm, I got a gift voucher here for 50 quid Mm, let's have a look inside this case then. Alright, I will turn the light on because... I just decided to go behind a cloud, so... Let's have a look inside. Look at that. My new microphone... This is going to be used for the announcements on my videos. I'm still going to use the electric condenser microphones for the field recording, but this is a really nice microphone. Let's just unravel the lead here. Let's see how long that is. Looks like we've got plenty of lead here. XLR plug on one side. That goes into the microphone. Yeah. This wire, this just lead, this lead just keeps on going and going and going. I could be in the next county with this thing and still have enough lead left over. Some people seem to think that don't seem to be able to know the difference between when I'm joking and when I'm complaining about something. But that's just too bad for you. All right, let's just plug that in there. And I'm going to give this a little test. Now, I'll see if I can do this on the video. Oh, actually, I've just realized something. If we go over here to my multi-track tape recorder, I've actually got this being used as a microphone preamp right now and that is going into the computer that is being used as the preamp for my headset microphone my homemade headset microphone which let me just take it off here looks very cruddy but it gets the job done Well, I'm trying to do this without having to do any editing because I hate editing so I'm gonna plug this microphone in instead and we're gonna get to hear from it directly so I'll just put my cruddy headset microphone down I'm just gonna go and unplug it and plug this one in adjust the sound levels and I'll be right back you'll just have to be staring at it for a while Okay, testing, testing, one, two, three, this is with the new dynamic microphone. So how about that? A live test on the video. So anyway, that's all that stuff and uh, well, I'm just going to go straight up and upload this onto YouTube now, so... Let me just adjust my levels here. Ah, oh, that's good. So anyway, until next time, goodbye. Now, I'm going to play this back and hear how it sounds, because I haven't heard how it sounds yet. Oh, I cannot stop this thing recording.